Not short circuit, caution, 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 made in China. My guess is this thing is severely overrated. I just have this airplane toggle switch here and I'm in jump mode from the coach batteries. <laughs> All right, welcome back party people. Today we have acquired this battery jumper and uh, I'm not sure if it works. I have plugged this into the charge port here, which is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen, but you need to put a drop cord, which I had to scrounge to find one of these uh, on here. There's no secret about these things. I mean, there's got to be a battery inside this thing somewhere. So I suspect for the price point it was at, it's not going to be a very good battery. It's not going to be anything close to lithium. It's probably going to be a sealed lead acid battery. So I don't know if the battery's dead or if the charger is broke some way, but I've had it on the charge for about, four, about 36 hours now. And you can see that we have literally not move past the it needs a recharge signal there so we're going to try to take a look at this today figure out what's wrong with it and uh, hopefully fix it i'm going to turn this on and measure see if we got any voltage across the battery uh, if we can read any voltage across the battery and uh, go from there let's get our multimeter out and uh, turn it on dc voltage here and we'll just clamp up our uh, battery terminals here and uh, let's uh, pop the switch on here and see if we get anything all right so it says 9.23 volts that is a severely over discharged battery a couple things we know well we know that we're reading the voltage off the battery so this thing seems okay try to turn the light on the light does not come on I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's try to switch it back off. Light does not come on. Let's see what happens when we leave it plugged in and try to switch it on. Oh, so our light's on now. So our light immediately comes on. So we know the light's working. And uh, let's see what happens with, to our voltage. We get 13.86 volts. So we know the charging circuitry is actually working because we're reading a charging voltage that would be applied across the battery internally here. So um, let's flip this back off and uh, we're gonna take this apart. My guess is, is that since this thing has been sitting a while, it's probably been over discharged. It's probably been discharged to the max and it hasn't been sitting on a trickle charger. And my guess is probably a sealed lead acid battery. It's probably sulfated to the nth degree and uh, we need to kind of reverse that sulfate process and get that uh, acid back to some kind of working state here. So we're gonna to try to re reverse that process if we can uh, with our, we have a, a battery uh, tender that will actually go through a cycle of reconditioning the battery if that indeed is the case. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my jumpers back on and we're gonna open this up and see what's inside of it. Like I said, there's no magic to, to battery charging. If you're going to charge a battery, it's either got to be plugged into a, a source or you're basically just carrying a little portable battery with you. So I suspect we'll find a smaller battery in here, maybe like a little motorcycle battery or something like that uh, that has some cranking amperage capability. All right. Not much to it. I didn't expect there'd be much to it. There's probably some, you know, overcharging circuitry built into it. And uh, a pretty simple transfer switch here. That's the big switch on the front. So we know all that's working because we see the charging voltage across the battery. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this battery out, actually, so I can put it on a tender. And so there goes our one terminal. I'll put that screw over there. See if we can lift it up now and get to the other one. Put our terminals there and we have a Chinese battery, 12 volt, nine amp hour, non-spillable sealed lead acid. Do not short circuit, caution, 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 
made in China, obviously, Jingning. Nine amp hours. I don't know what, uh, what kind of cold cranking amperage you would get out of this thing, but my guess is this thing is severely overrated. The rest of this is just simple circuitry. It's basically a switch, some overcharging, and the circuit boards there are for the USB ports and the lights, and probably some rectifier circuits to, uh, to bring our AC down into uh, DC charging voltage there. And that's about it. I'm gonna go get my other charger and uh, we're gonna put this on a uh, cycle of reconditioning. Now, the problem with trying to do this with a regular battery charger is, is that most battery chargers won't recognize the battery when it gets below a certain voltage. This one's at nine point some odd volts. The other way you could potentially do this too is put this in parallel with another battery uh, and that would potentially bring the voltage up to the, uh, at least from where the uh, charger is actually seeing the voltage across those two. And uh, you may be able to get the voltage up enough in that way, uh, charging it in order to uh, get it conditioned. But nonetheless, we have a tender. I'm gonna go get that and uh, we'll plug it in and see what happens. All right, so I have got my NOCO Genius 10. In order to use this, what we need to do is actually connect the clamps to the battery here and positive to positive, negative to negative. I'm just gonna drop this glove in between there. Once you power this thing on, uh, it'll bring you down to a regular 12 volt. You have an AGM, a lithium. In order to get down to this bottom section here, you need to hold down and that'll get you to the bottom line. And then once you get to the bottom line, move over to 12 volt repair and that will blink red and this will run its repair process on this battery. And we'll, we're gonna let that run until it, uh, until it uh, gets us to a point where we think we actually have repaired the battery or perhaps not. All right, so it's been about five days and I've had this battery on a trickle charger. I usually give up around day number eight, day number nine. So right now I'm probably in the 10th or 11th reconditioned stage on this battery and uh, it still won't hold a charge. And I really don't necessarily need this, but it would have been nice if I could have reconditioned that battery, but a good battery for that is gonna at least be 20 bucks. And uh, you can probably get these things now for, I'm, I'm guessing 40 bucks. So um, I don't really need the jump starter kit. And if I did need it, I could probably uh, rig it up with either one of the lithium batteries or one of the uh, lead acid batteries I have for the electric motorcycle. But I'll show you what I am going to do. So one of the things that I didn't do when I was initially uh, wiring up the van was uh, there's an option on the Precision Circuits uh, lithium battery monitor that allows you to actually connect a switch in line with either ground or positive off the signal lug, which allows you to connect the coach batteries to the chassis battery. And uh, there's another option where you can connect it to a positive lead. And uh, that's if you want to have an LED lit switch, which I do not, lights are bad. Anything that pulls electricity uh, running inside the van is bad. You wanna reduce that as much as possible. I just have this airplane uh, toggle switch here. And it's got this protective cover over it and I'm just going to wire that in to ground and that way if I enable this switch that I have connected the coach battery to the chassis battery and I'm in uh, kind of a jump mode from the from the coach batteries so um, I'm going to wire this in that's my LI BIM sitting in the battery box notice there's no signal cable tied and we're going to go with the ground option so I'll just run a wire up front here I'll put it down there. I can reach my arm back there and toggle it on.
got everything all nice and tidy. <sighs> got our signal wire there tied up so we don't get any stress. And we did the same thing coming down the uh, back slat there. So that's our switch. So we are ready to give her a test. I'm going to go ahead and throw the big switch here. All right. Coach batteries are back in line. Everything looks good. Other switch is in the off position. So let's go flip the switch. So we heard the relay kick in there. All right, so we know our relay is working. We flip our switch there. You can hear it engage. We'll flip it off. So we are working as designed. So that'll do it for this video. That's how to hook up the lithium battery monitor from Precision Circuits, hook up the signal uh, so that you can jump start your chassis battery from your coach battery. So everything is working fine there. Hopefully I never have to use it but it's a great fail safe to have. I've got it on the airplane switch, so it can't mistakenly be turned on. Till next time, you guys know what to do. Skill up and ride, man up and go.